It's time for Halfway Full, a mental wellness podcast pouring insightful discussion, sound advice, and great tips into your life. On today's episode, we're setting some life goals for mental well-being with Kamala McQuinney, Associate Clinical Psychologist and Corporate Consultant. Halfway Full starts now. Welcome to another episode of Halfway Full. So, empirical research supports the idea that having clear goals can positively impact day-to-day well-being, but setting realistic and achievable goals can be challenging under the best of circumstances. If you are living with depression or anxiety, it can feel downright impossible. But we're going to make it possible. And that is why we brought Kamala McQueenie with us today. How are you, my love? I'm doing well, Delia. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. So, we're talking about setting realistic goals. First of all, why do we even set goals? So, because this thing of life is a journey mm-hmm. and we need to move from point A to B to C all the way down, then goals are kind of that, the handle that we hold on to, to get us down further and further and further. So we need something because otherwise life just happens to us. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's dangerous. To yeah, me, that's not, that's far from ideal. All right, so we're setting goals, but what makes them realistic? So first of all, I think we have to be mindful of purpose. Like, we can't have a conversation about goals without grounding it in purpose. All right, okay. What's the bigger vision that guides why we're even setting goals to begin with? Mm-hmm. And so for me, having a sense of who we are and what is for us and what we can do, all of those things for me are crucial. And that, as we always talk about, that requires introspection, mm-hmm. looking into ourselves to figure out, just because somebody said I should be a doctor, should I be going to med school? Mm-hmm. You're bright, so that you forgot Automatically, or this would make my father happy. Mm. This would make my mother feel proud of me. Mm-hmm. I heard somebody from India recently say, in their country, you're either an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, or a nothing, <laughs> or a loser. Ooh. And Jamaica have some of that too, mm-hmm. where we have these set things. So we have to start from that very important place, Delia, of what, what, what's the purpose? What is my purpose? And even if you don't believe in a supreme being, at least have a sense of who we really are, and like what aligns, mm. what's authentic for us. It's, it's funny that you said that because I tell people, if you observe your children, mm. they actually know their purpose before you do because the things that they naturally do as a child, mm-hmm. I believe, are the things that are embedded in them until we, we, we work it out of them. Exactly, and we send them these messages. Yeah. Somebody said to me recently that they have a full-time, full-time job. Mm. Like where them work is stress personified. Mm. And then they're also full-time doing a professional degree. Mm. And when we got to the nitty-gritty of it, they said to me, Kamala, I know exactly why I'm here trying to get this degree. Because when I'm an auntie, tell me, say, Minna Bright. Mm. So at her big age, similar to my big age, Mm -hmm. right? She's She's literally... That this is how bright I am. Exactly. So that goal now, Dahlia, to to go back to your first question, that Mm. goal is not... It might be realistic because she have the capacity to do it, Mm -hmm. but then given her schedule, mm -mm. and then also, which by the time I come from, as a parent, as somebody in a full-time job, like in a lineup. Mm -hmm. So not because we can means we should. And that's where purpose comes in, in my book. Mm -hmm. Like getting a sense of why God make me? What what am I here to fulfill? And then the goals come out of that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's important because I think... um, it's all I think that's also what keeps you powered yeah towards it yeah because working towards the goal is not a straight or easy Mm-mm. road and if you're not sure why I'm heading towards it the first hurdle you buck up on you We're say gone. all right me, all right let me, me move on to something else and I might think this exactly so it's important to know why why am I doing it mm-hmm. um working towards specific goals can help you live the life you want to yeah I feel so mm-hmm. I feel that it can all right so we're going to talk about some strategies mm-hmm. for setting goals. One of the things they said is set small goals. Mm-hmm. Set small goals. Mm-hmm. That, that don't mean you don't have to have the big one. Right. But the little steps can take you there, no, sir? Yeah. And Delia, many of us, especially as black women and black Jamaican women, we're very bombastic. So if, if, if the goal is not going to get us to change in the world in the next two months, we don't want it. Mm-hmm. I'm like that, where I struggle to realize that the micro is super important. So I want to start a podcast like Dahlia. <laughs> and it must reach two million. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Stream or download or whatever. Like by, by summer. Uh, and not go so. So it's important to be mindful that 
showing up every day towards the goal is where the success really comes. Yes. But sometimes you start at the bombastic, I want to save $2 million by 2025. Yes. I will not even work $2 million for the year. Yes. Or yes. we will save that, you yes. understand? Yes. So it's important to be grounded in the fact that starting small doesn't mean that we will not be great. Mm -hmm. It just means that we need to take down what we can chew in this moment mm -hmm. and consistently show up to that. You know, I'm listening to you and I'm laughing to myself because I'm saying, because I love these hashtags, you know. I think the hashtag is what send many of us down the gully. <laughs> so you always have hashtag life goals. Yes. But, but I'm thinking life is not a one day event. Mm -mm. It's not a two day, it's not a three day event. Like life is a continuum. And so life goals must be goals that they do start small and they take them time and them grow and them develop. That's life goals. Absolutely. And life goals is not just a big mansion. You ever see some um, vision board? Well, I one time in the child want a vision board and say, come on, I have to see my vision board. <laughs> and the big oh, big man shall have the vision board. <laughs> oh, so uh, there you are, you'll touch my contour now. Because you see the vision board thing, I don't know where we get this memo from, I but many know. of us believe that because we typically do the vision board at the start of the calendar year, yeah. then the vision board must achieve by December 31 yeah. and not no go so. Yeah. So it's also important, I believe, set, set the visions. Mm -hmm. Set the visions, but a big part of why vision boards work for me Mm -hmm. is that the vision boards move us from here to a little tops of action and another little uh, tops. It like, must be an action board. You, it, it must be an action board, yeah, right? Yeah. And then remember too that you will not likely see everything manifested in 12 months, even though we tend to do it around like the start of a new mm -hmm. year. Give yourself time. So that's my thing though, because I feel like some of the vision boarding should bear the small goals in mind because yes. the vision boarding is not a one-time mm -mm. activity mm -mm. you're gonna do the vision board every year yeah you're gonna do it every year mm -hmm. so uh, so what is my vision board for this year you have your larger vision yes and that's what i want to achieve mm -hmm. um, i was saying this to two young men i saw them and them said miss harris um at what age you get your, your, your house mm -hmm. and um and i said oh i don't think i purchased a house until and i was maybe 28 mm -hmm. um and his mortgage me say it had years and years i said no that i'm looking at 51 mm -hmm. I, do, I don't have a mortgage mm -hmm. i own a home but it take me a little bit i said there's a house i have in portmore i love it people see me all the time you still live in portmore yes. i said why wrong with portmore me, me all right so i was saying to them you, you can own a home but it don't have to be a palace yes own your little your little quad and then you move your quad to a two bedroom to, but but the vision of owning a home don't have to be the mansion right away. And exactly. I feel that's part of the, the hashtag life goals. Yeah. That's the that's the home I want. And it comes back to the whole thing about being bombastic because we don't really realize that a quad can turn into a five bedroom, three bedroom, o but over time. Absolutely. But we want all of it right now. Absolutely. Focus on self care is one of the things that I read about in terms of a strategy for setting goals. Mm -hmm. um, so. May I listen to even the studying thing where you tell me? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, um, they want the, the degree, they want the master's, they want the PhD. And so they're studying all the time mm -hmm. and there is no time for them. Mm -hmm. you no, know, like a break for enjoy like a life. Yeah. Make a work overtime, full time, time and a half mm -hmm. for buy the house that I never spent two minutes in. So it's important to have that self-care, right? Daily self-care is like something I embrace fully and I'm trying to be better at it. Mm -hmm. Because the fact of the matter is that a lot of us are chasing these goals because we're not in a practice of self-loving. So the goal is supposed to make us feel good and supposed to make us feel worthy. Yeah. So when we get the house, then we will. Mm -hmm. When we get Relax. the husband, we will. Yes. We will finally feel like, oh, things are going for me. When I am doctor, so and so, yeah. then I will feel complete. Yeah. And if we're constantly chasing chances are we're going to burn out. Mm -hmm. So we have to start from a place of even setting the goals and number one, deciding that we are worth it. I deserve this good thing. Because sometimes we don't really believe. Mm -hmm. And that's why if we don't get the full picture, the big mansion right away, we, we, get, all, we get thrown off. So we're not starting from a place of grounded self-love and self-belief that I can have this thing despite my last name. I can be a millionaire, mm -hmm. even though I look like this and I look like the other type of people. And I can achieve like a business. I can own a successful business or mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. So starting from there to me is a part of self-care. Yeah. And then on the journey to achieving it now, Dahlia, we have to realize that if I am not my best self, 
no matter what goal I accomplish, I'm not going to be okay. And it's not, a, it's not a secondary piece of the conversation. It needs to be the center of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we can enjoy the, the quad. When we get the quad, we can celebrate that. Until we add on one extra bathroom, our another level. Yes, and, and we celebrate our wins. And I think self-care makes us better able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like the vision boarding and everything, the goal setting, self-care must be a part of yeah. it. When I see a vision board, I want to see where is where are you on this on this board because exactly. I see I see the material things mm -hmm. um, and I see the other things but I'm not seeing you and daily another important thing you know I came across this this framework for like setting goals and it said what do I want to have and many of us start and stop there we just want to get this and want to have more of this mm -hmm. what do I want to have what do I want to do and what do I want to be mm -hmm. And you see the B part now, that's also important. Because I think a part of self-care is giving ourselves the permission to have self-growth. Yeah. For us to grow as well. So we don't get stuck in only the ownership. Mm -hmm. Me like own things too. Me like nice things. Mm. But am I growing my mind? And it doesn't have to be a degree. You know, am I reading? Am I exploring the rest of the world? Those types of things. And if we can do that, then it makes us more able to set better I'll goals. I'll tell you something. I was saying to one of my friends, because... He was hung up on a, on a particular type of vehicle. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, very nice vehicle. But, <laughs> which part him for go to work, you know? The vehicle not make for up there, In a so. practical. No, it not make for this, so. Like, I'm like, why would you buy this, this wonderful vehicle mm -hmm. and then go destroy it, you know, on this terrain? Mm -hmm. And even the other day, I was saying to someone, you buy this fast car and say, Jamaica change them, road traffic act for you, it's better you didn't go buy one. I <laughs> say, your car can go up to 260 kilometers Listen. per hour, but you're not going to reach more than 50 in it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you buy a fast car, but you can't drive it fast. So those are the kind of things I think when we're setting goals, you know, what are the realistic things? So they say, make your goals specific, which is a lot of what I'm hearing you say. Mm -hmm. Come on, so don't just say, um, I want to buy a car, mm -hmm. but 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 why that car? Why that specific car? Make them specific. Yeah. I want I want to get married. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to get married. Anybody get married in a day? Yes. <laughs> but do you want to have a happy marriage? Do you yes. want to have a healthy partner? Yes. Those are things that yeah, we need to get clear husband, on. husband, but, yeah. but you need to be more specific in, in what that husband is supposed to be. Eh? Very much so. So it's important to be clear on how you want to feel when you have the thing, not just how it looks, because a lot of us are stuck on the IG facade of mm -hmm. life Re hashtag relationship which, like when Feb february 14 come we just want to have somebody too mm. we want to have a boo or a bae mm -hmm. but then off of the ig off of the screen what are you experiencing mm -hmm. is it worth an investment you understand mm. so specificity if you want to start a business why do you want to start it what is it supposed to accomplish do you want to stay in it for the rest of your life or do you want the business to you know yeah. do you want to work in your business or on your business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be able to retire from it? At some, you want to sell it? You want to scale it up and sell it? Those kind of things can come even with the growing of our minds. So, because sometimes we always say, in terms of owning a business, is you have one office and you're going there every day. Hashtag boss lady, you just want to be a boss. From 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then you can't live in a bossy life even though you make a money because you're literally a, you're enslaved to your business. Mm -hmm. So, like, what is the picture that you want? Mm -hmm. You know, and exploring other variations. I of asked that a too. group of women once, I went, I, I went to speak with a group of women in business and mm -hmm. i said to them why do you want to own a business mm -hmm. though because because you just want to own a business because you want to see it's a boss lady or you just want to own a business because you think it's going to position you in a different way me say if everybody is a boss mm -hmm. who is going to work in exactly. this business and are you do you have like the traits yeah because entrepreneurship is it can be a mess <laughs> i was saying to them it's okay to be a worker everybody want to be a boss and everybody everybody don't have to be a boss mm -hmm. if you're a boss somebody off of work mm -hmm. and you can be the great worker that you are you know yeah. so setting that is important so be specific if you want a, 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 I want a marriage but I want a happy and a fulfilled marriage because mm -hmm. then you say you know my goal is to get married this year so I go and go out and I go and meet somebody and you do it you do it you get married you put up the wedding picture but the marriage is not, not what healthy. you thought it would have been yeah and then a lot of the issues coming after exactly. that. All right, so they say goals must be smart. Mm -hmm. And we start with the, the S, right? We start with the S, mm -hmm. which we just kind of labeled and being specific. Right. Yeah, measurable, I find it's a problem that we have a lot of. <laughs> Listen, 
measurable as I squeeze out all my contour right now. Yes. Because for a lot of, especially when we're very passionate and we're creative, we just want to do the nice things then. We just, mm. It feel good. Mm. And then you don't know how much money you earn for the year. You don't know what your total expenses are. You don't know what your metrics are, how many people downloaded, how many people we're not tracking. Mm -hmm. And we can't manage what we can't measure. Yeah. And so that's the part where we have to learn the skills or we scale our business or whatever, our venture in a way where we can hire somebody to help us to do it. Mm -hmm. Outside of the entrepreneurship space now, it's also important for us in our regular life. If you don't want to be an entrepreneur, you want to, let's say, you know, expand your house. Mm -hmm. How much money are you going to need? And how is that going to look in terms of what you're earning right now? Mm -hmm. Can you afford to take out 50000 every month towards it? Sometimes we just do. We just do and we don't have no systems in place. And systems can either make or break us daily. You mm -hmm. understand? Because mm -hmm. next thing we go trust one big load of sand. Yeah. And when the people them come now, or the money part go. Mm -hmm. Or your, your grocery list cannot be fulfilled that month. Or your pitney insurance or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So we have or to we learn. Or we add on to the house and we buy the heap of sand. Mm -hmm. And we just, we just get our money and say, oh, we're going to buy some sand. And then we sit and look on the sand for two years. Yes. Every day we get up, we pass the sun, and it's a reminder that this thing is not moving. That yeah. we can't afford the black, we can't afford the And we steel. can't pay the man them. Can't, well, the sun just did it. <laughs> you can't you even know? start. But so so it's, it's to, it's to, if, you, if you make things specific and measurable, mm -hmm. you know, you, you buy sun for put on a whole three bedroom. But if you buy a little sun for one room, you can't afford blocks, you can't afford steel. Mm -hmm. And then you, you measure, you measure as you go along. Because as you said, measurement. Helps you to keep track of it, eh? Absolutely. And I heard somebody say one time that the reason why they're so deliberate about their finances is because if somebody should have come to you up on the road tomorrow and say, hey, good sis, I want to pay off your debt then. Like, God, give me a vision for you. I want to pay off your debt. How much debt do you have? Mm. How many of us can quote that number? Hmm. You understand? Yeah. Like, I want to get enough money to finish the house, to, build, to, to, to put on two rooms. How much does it cost you? Many of us can quote the figure mm -hmm. because we just a look pan all right, we just do a little piece here. But what's the big picture vision? Mm -hmm. And are we keeping track of how much you spend the last three months to put on that one room there? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. How much more out of the budget do you yeah. need? Yeah. So that's important too. And, and it's important when you move to the A's of it. Um, is, it is it achievable? Is yes. it attainable? Mm -hmm. Is the goal really achievable? Because exactly. if you run the risk in setting goals, that you will never hit the mark, mm -hmm. then you're setting yourself up. It's a demoralizing. Yeah. 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 So make sure it's a thing. But how many, how many, how do, how do, how many, 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 how do I come by that? Come on, because it means an artist. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. I'm going say artist, sing a one tune and then boss big. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say, well, no one busting on me. I'm going to do a one tune. Mm -hmm. it's, it's attainable because yeah. I've seen somebody else do it. Mm -hmm. So is that the thing? It's, it's attainable for me. Well, Dale, it's good to look at other people's experiences and to be curious. Because okay. a lot of us, we just want to do it in isolation. Mm -hmm. Because sit down with three people who do it and find out what were the pitfalls, what were the, the areas that were difficult. Mm -hmm. Because for many of us in Adelia, Kill We Dead, we're super special. Mm -hmm. And a we one, like me, I make it. Mm -hmm. And we have all these fallacies in our brain about what it looks like to be an artist, what the life look like. Mm -hmm. We feel like people just wake up and have five gold chain overnight. And we don't see when they mature and they don't have no money. Like we don't see the backstory mm -hmm. and we're not asking about it either. No. So assumptions are what's driving us. And that definitely going, going you know. We want in the name brand right away. The other day I ran into two of who I think are, are, are young superstars, Romaine Virgo yes. and Omi. Yes. And when I saw Romaine and Omi, you know, to them, I said, what I like about you guys is you're young men and you've shown other young men that you can come from humble mm -hmm. and work at it, be authentic, mm -hmm. um, be credible in what you're doing, take your time, mm -hmm. and you can get to where you're going. When they walked away, I said to the ladies who were with me, I'm going mean, to tell you I'm going to lie about them too. I say, you know what you say, they're superstars. Mm -hmm. But if you never just see them and know, them not walking on attention. The hype. Them yeah. not have no hype. Them never have no entourage around them. them ne they were just two guys mm -hmm. with such enormous talent mm -hmm. going about their business. Yeah. Um, and that's why I, th I think they're so successful, not just in what they've achieved, but in their life. That's it now, Delia. In their because life. Because a lot of us, 
we're looking for the goals to make us feel successful but are we living a successful life yeah and do we even know what that looks like yeah. so, for, so for some of us because of holy issues and i'm not judging anybody mm -hmm. some of us ne i really never see come see mm -hmm. so when we in our minds we just we just we decide that when we get this thing now when we achieve this goal nobody can't talk to me mm -hmm. come and make it mm -hmm. but that's only a fraction of your life what does the rest of your life look like what do your relationships look like do mm -hmm. people respect you yeah and yeah. those are important things to consider as well. So we want to open up the consciousness. A little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. We, we discussed the R at length. Mm -hmm. We discussed being realistic about them. So they're smart. They're measurable. They're achievable. Mm -hmm. They're realistic. So these are the vision board now. <laughs> That's time. it. Time. Yes. Time specific. Time bound. Mm -hmm. So every year, you know, keep on. I put up the mansion on the board year after year after year after year. Um, this, is, this is the action part of it. No, yeah. uh, this is the goal, but, but I want to get there. Absolutely. It's difficult for a lot of people to do that. Eh? Yeah, it is because, again, we want what we want and we want it now. Mm -hmm. That's one. And then number two, a lot of us stop at the point of the excitement of, of dreaming it up. And you know, there is a, there is a study or several studies which have shown daily that when I have a goal, and when I call you and say, good evening, I tell you one little secret with a strap in my, in my spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, say, bye. By December, I want to own this and I want to accomplish this. You see, by, you see, by telling the person the dream, Delia, our brain releases some powerful neurotransmitters and they make us feel as if we have already accomplished it. Okay. So sometimes, too, a part of the process of achieving our goals is to usher up our personal mount. <laughs> Put the vision on the board and speak none at all. What? Because sometimes the constant, boy, you know, say, me go. Um, and you know, so I start this, and you know, so I do this. We feel like we do it already. We feel Come like we've on, already no. accomplished. Hold on, hold on, hold on, pause, man, and one, because no, no, no. Because the people have talked about words, sound, power. And, yeah. and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, so everybody, them, say them, I'm going to be, but you're saying, do more, more, more thinking than talking. Do more of the grinding behind the scenes, oh. and sometimes be mindful of when you share it. Because mm. sometimes we just have the vision board, and we just start to talk about the vision. We not put not even one ounce of sweat into the vision, but we're telling people, and and it is a false sense of accomplishment because mm -hmm. we articulate it nicely, and the people them say, you know, so that fit your door, yes. you know, so the office yes. work that fit you, or you know, yes. so the mansion are gonna look good. Yeah. But it it lulls us into a false sense of security that we have already done something. Oh, yeah. So we have to be mindful to words on power. I'm, I'm here for it daily. I believe in the power of affirmations, mm -hmm. but which part the action piece there is mm -hmm. where many of us fall. We just mm -hmm. say. This have a fit me you now. It's nice. The Porsche mm. gonna look good for me. Hey girl. Pa you yeah, know you understand? I'm gonna up this man. I'm mean, just. Me, have a, me, hey, this. I'm, and some of them say, yeah, it have a buzz. Yes. I like it. It have a buzz. I like it feel. Yeah, I like it feel, you know. Yeah. And you start thinking, and you head already say, yeah, buzz, y'all yeah, start weird. We, and them say, yeah. No, people tell you, say, you know, if you're gonna do it, you start dressing like a boss. Dressing if you for, the, be for the job that dress. you want. Yes. And daily, I'm here for dress. it. No, but, but you are dressed, but, but you're not doing nothing else. Exactly. But dress. So dressing is. Delia, let me tell you, I can share experience of vision, things that I put on my vision board have come to, to manifestation. Yeah. But it takes a step and then another step. So wearing the clothes like the boss, that's beautiful. But have you started to search for the job? Like the, the practical time specific things now. Or get yourself um, up to the capacity where you can be the boss absolutely, as well. Absolutely. Me see it, I remember me a creative, you know. Yeah. So I see a lot of creatives, you know. Yeah. And everybody want to be a, a movie star. Everybody yeah. want to go to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. But 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 to do the work. The visualization is beautiful. And it alone is powerful, Delia. But yeah. it alone is unlikely to move us from here, from point yeah. A to point B. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I remember one time Morgan Heritage and Gramps Morgan was talking about the fact Peter used to do a lot of the, the lead singing. And then Gramps said, when he took it on, he just he realized at that time just how much work mm -hmm. Peter was doing. So everybody want to tour, mm -hmm. but they don't know what touring what is. Goes what goes it. into it. So, yeah, they say, hey, me an artist, me a tour, you know. And them say, no, I see a guy road and tell people say, an artist, just better than that man. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Which is, but, yeah. it, but the dressing have to come with something else. Wow. So, so Delia, wow. if I can wow. share a quick experience. Yeah. I remember one year, a friend of mine sent me a job. A job mm -hmm. listing. I mean, mm -hmm. feel like the job does fit me, <laughs> right? So I decided that, that the job was mine. Yeah. So she sent it to me today, and the deadline was like two days from now. Yeah. Me try, me try, but my, I didn't, I didn't make the deadline. Yeah. But me decided that the job is still mine. So Delia, somebody come, somebody gifted me a handbag, and me decided that this is the handbag yeah, for the bossy work. Job. Yeah, man. But I couldn't just stop there, Delia, yeah. and just call the handbag the boss handbag. 
I actually reached out, I applied this time now in the deadline, within the deadline. And then every couple of weeks, I meet at my people in inbox. Hi, good day. My name is Kamala McQueen. I applied for this position. I'm just following up. Every, every two of me, I follow up. Until eventually they say, Kamala, we now really start with the application yet. And then we come back me again. Hi, good afternoon. Have you My name is Kamala. Yes. Look right? at the bag of food here. And daily, maybe about after three check ins, I heard, Kamala, we're going to be selecting next week. And then I, next week I'm there again, Dahlia. You know, the people I'm in the box again, Kamala, you have been shortlisted for an interview. I'm going to get the work, Dahlia. So the handbag was one piece. I visualized it and the handbag was dedicated. But I was also doing the work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every day I'm typing, hi, good afternoon. Right? <laughs> just following up kindly. And just to let you know, there's a handbag waiting to come through your office. Exactly. <laughs> so visioning is powerful by yeah, itself. Yeah. But in terms of moving us into action, that's, that's where the, 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 the sum total of it comes. Yeah. How does, how does a supportive network Ooh. help in something like this no daily that's huge as well yeah. because some people will kill your dreams mm -hmm. before it even has a chance to come to fruition and that's mm -hmm. why sometimes we need to move in silence mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you don't believe mm -hmm. confess it to god confess it to the atmosphere mm -hmm. or to one or two people who you know have you down and can say this sound good mm -hmm. maybe try this angle and this one as well mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but some people will not encourage you because of jealousy so we can list so many things only for things. Only for things. So, so maybe people just put everything in a one box and say bad mind. Bad mind. mind. Mm -hmm. A bad Watchful mind. They're not going to help you because a bad mind. Exactly. But I, but, so I feel like if you're going to go to support, go to the person who can actually help you. Yeah. Like not just share the information with somebody just for sharing's sake. Mm -hmm. But if you're going into a, into a field, and even that you have to be careful too. Because I've had experiences of going into a field and I reach out to who I think can be supportive. And when them don't tell me what them tell me. My shame I'm gonna curl up back in my car and I come here and say, okay, basically them I tell me say, my talent not enough, so I need to go all that kind of. And then you're correct, after that I just didn't say anything. Yeah. I just kept it to myself and and I'm God, and then we push it out, yeah. you know, and the rest is history. And so sometimes that's important to have people in our lives too, like who, who can stretch us. Yeah. I've heard a couple of people say, if you're the smartest person in the room, they're in the wrong room. Yeah. So if you're the most accomplished person in your circle, you need to change your circle mm -hmm. so that that can also be a part of pulling us mm -hmm. from, from step, you know, step one up mm -hmm. the ladder as well. Mm -hmm. But I know everybody going to do that for us. No, it's not everybody. And you know what? We're talking here about goal setting and within the context. I mean, a lot of the references are business and whatever, but goals can be anything. Exactly. It can be things in the home. Mm -hmm. um, it can be at work. I want it to be a be better parent. Yeah. Yeah. I want to parent better for twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. I, I hope many people said that because based on what going to Jamaica. Need some parenting. We need that urgently. Yeah. Yeah. And it six and I, I like what you said because parenting is not just something that's floating in the air and you just grab it. Exactly. If you decide that I'm going to be a great parent and that's your goal, mm -hmm. then all the things that we told you are important specifically. How am I going to be a great parent? How am I going to measure mm -hmm. my parenting? And yeah. what am I saying? Is it achievable? Mm -hmm. What are the realistic things? And put a time on it. If me, if me say me go spend time with my children. By when? By when? Yeah. If that time they come and you not do it yet, then the goal shaky. Mm -hmm. So so what we're saying here in terms of goals are things that can be applied to everything. And one of the things that I also found interesting when I was reading about um, setting goals is that you should focus on gratitude. Oh, yes. It was like, focus on gratitude. Then after I mean, I achieve the goal, why am yeah. I focusing on gratitude? But it said it was a big part of the process. No, it's huge because it shifts our mindset mm -hmm. into a space where we become like magnets for, for, for things to come to us. Yeah. And it shifts us from out of the complaining mindset where every day, Lord, may not have this, but what do you have? Mm -hmm. We have something. Yeah. And if we can be grateful for that, it, it also creates space for more possibility. Mm -hmm. If you can't start from a place of, oh, well, at least I have $200. Maybe we can get 200 more mm -hmm. versus we just not have the 10,000 what we need. Mm -hmm. It shuts us down mm -hmm. into a kind of paralysis when we become um, persistent complainers. So gratitude can move mountains daily. Yeah. Yeah. And people want to work with people who are grateful. Yes, they do. So from, <laughs> from, from, from like a supportive network place as well, yes. I'm more attracted to support somebody who's going to say, girl, the connection that you made for me was so powerful. Thank you. Look here, Jamaica people want to say ungrateful. What's that? Oh, yeah. Listen. That's so much. That's so badly they put like ungrateful. It. So make sure you focus on gratitude. Come on, for folks who, I mean, we've had the discussion. I hope they went and they made their notes on it. 
But sometimes you need a little push, you need somebody who can help you through it, and you're that person. Mm -hmm. Where do we find you? How do we connect with you? So you can find me on Instagram at White Lotus Blooms. My first name in Lotus, so Lotus is everywhere, right? Yes. White Lotus Blooms on Instagram. You can also send me an email at Kamala at White Lotus Consulting.org. Excellent. Such a pleasure to have you. Always good to be here, Dahlia. Guys, set those goals. You're setting the goal? Make sure we're moving from halfway to halfway full. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for another episode. See you again next time.